Hey guys, it's Howlin' and the Peach Bat with another video. Um, I think I forgot to tell you um, in the last video that I decided to change my name from Life in the Peach State to Howlin' and the Peach um, for multiple reasons. Uh, one being I couldn't come up with a symbol for Life in the Peach State, but I could come up with one for Howlin' and the Peach. Um, I, I'm really, really like dogs. Uh, we work with the Man Society and stuff, and um and a few other reasons uh well today i'm going to, to be talking about my lawn equipment that i use for doing lawns and doing work around here at my house and uh i'll show you all the truck we pull the lawnmower around with uh to do lawns with my i do it with my sister's boyfriend um first here's my um Craftsman riding lawnmower. It's a 2015 model with a 46 inch deck. And if you are going to buy a new mower and you don't have a big lawn, like I wish, kind of wish we would have now, um, get the 42 inch deck. I know the 46 inch deck, I mean, it is better. Um, I do like it more. The only key is if you break a blade, which we did one time on a job. Uh, we spent five hours looking for a new blade. Um, the only place that carries it is Sears, and we ended up having to pay like double the price because they had to sell us it. I don't know if y'all can see these, but yeah, the Gator blades is what they call them instead of just the regular blades. Um, uh, so it's the Craftsman um, with a Briggs and Stratton motor in it. Y'all can see that. Uh, engine probably needs to be cleaning out and everything. Um, that's all the part numbers on it. Uh, that's good to know. Uh, 48 ounces. Uh, it's 19 horsepower motor, 540 cc. It says Briggs and Stratton Platinum. Not sure what the difference is between Briggs and Stratton and Briggs and Stratton uh, Platinum. Anyways, this is what we got. Um, but I probably find out about the mower because my sister's boyfriend's dad is one of the uh, quality inspectors for Briggs and Stratton. He's like the head of his department and everything at Briggs uh, here. Oh boy, it's about to be pain. Next is my um, dump bucket. I'm not sure what the, uh, who was made by and everything because it was given me my, gra my grandparents. Right now it's filled with hay because we had to get um, all the, he the hay bale picked up because um, it, we were about to get a really bad storm coming through here. Didn't end up being that bad. And then we worked the goats out here um, uh, for building muscle and they ripped some of the hay down while they were waiting. Uh, there's a tongue. It was originally red. I decided to paint it black. Probably should have just left it red. It would have been easier. Um, next, I have this box. I don't know where we got it. Got it a while back. Um, we, I just use this box to keep some of the stuff. Not everything's in it. Like, we got some uh, hand of the shear things that you use in, like, the garden. And I use them for trimming up bushes at people's houses, like, quick spots I missed with the hedge trimmer right here it's just an electric one I normally keep five or six extension cords in here but I had to take some out for different stuff um, there's the um, I forget what they're called uh, but they're like the shears with the long nose and then they're the short nose ones back there a little bit bigger branches we have a pair of jumper cables in here um, we have a uh, cross cut type saw right there not sure why that's in there. That was in there because I had to cut some plastic on my crossbow. It's the first saw I saw. So I did. I had to cut a notch in my crossbow. Next, um, I got some tie downs here from Harbor Freight. Um, day after I got them, actually, I was running them through the hitch socket over here on the mower. Oh boy, that tire's flat too. I wonder why they're all going flat. That's an easy fix. Um, I was running them through the pin hole right there that I hook up the trailer to and 
it was moving too much on the trailer and it tore one of them so how'd that happen uh, I got three gas cans one I keep an oil gas mix in one that I keep a straight gas in I got two gallon right there for the oil gas four or five gallon over there by the goat stand for um, uh, straight gas and then I have another one I keep straight gas in uh, probably just start putting diesel in it, but right now it's just got straight gas. You don't have anything that's diesel, it's just nice to have some diesel gas on hand. Um, my trailer is actually not here right now because it's not really my trailer, uh, it's one that I borrowed uh, from somebody. Uh, I still gotta buy a new one. Um, but this is kind of scattered out right now because we were in a hurry a few nights ago and I haven't picked up yet because it was like 10 at night, we had to get somewhere before it closed. It was like 9.30, we had to get somewhere before it closed at like 10, and the place is like 20 minutes away. Uh, so we had to drop the trailer real quick, and we used this stuff. And then we used, I used these the other day. This is what I dropped the trailer onto to hold it up after I jacked up, because it ain't got one of the uh, crank wheels on it. That's the other jack stand. Those are just car uh, hub traps. I got some tools over here that my mom used. Oh, I normally keep the hatchet in that box over there. Um, got the jack here. I jacked the stand up with. There's the gas can that I was talking about. And here's my weed whacker next. I used to use the, uh, my mom bought it for me when I was first starting out. My first time doing lawns. It was the, uh, this is my workbench right here. It's a mess right now. But I stripped the, uh, I took the uh, head off of it because I had one of the expensiver heads on it and I was going to use it on the other weed whacker, but I never got around to it. Engine's all, cover's all taken off. I was trying to figure out what's wrong with it, but it's not working correctly. The engine's not even trying to start. Uh, try the spark plugs, everything. If you got any ideas of what it could be, you ever had this problem before with good spark plugs in it and everything? Um then let me know what you think it could be. It's got gas. Um, I'm doing everything right. I used it for years and I just stopped working one day. Um, but now I got the, my mom went and picked up real quick for me. The, got it a few weeks ago. The, it says the Boland's BL110. It wasn't too expensive. Uh, it's got a little bit of power behind it for how cheap it was. With I think this was the Husqvarna titanium line. Uh, it's been working really well. Oh, there's my hose that I use for the goats. Um, here's my lawn. So the mower cuts really nice. Our pool's over there. But that all cuts really nice. I got some um, footballs out there. Me and my dad were playing catch. Uh, that back part isn't cut because my mom's a photographer and she was using it to do a senior picture with my sister's dog. My sister's a senior um, in high school. Uh, lastly, we have a, this is what we pull the lawnmower around with. Uh, I'm a Ford guy. I'll go ahead and say that. Uh, Chevy. Chevrolet stands for cracked heads, every valve rattles, oil leaks, engine ticks. Um, I can go on and on about that, but it's working good for what we're doing. It's a Chevy Colorado, um, uh, the Colorado's on the other side, Z71, uh, it's not, we're not a license plate there. Oh, I thought I said Colorado on it, maybe not, but here's a side view of it. Uh, that's it. It's a um, six cylinder, I think. V6. Um, uh, we've been pulling on this hitch right here. See if I can knock out that license plate with a uh, video editor if I figure out how to do that. Oh, there it says Colorado. Right there. Got a dent there from somebody not hooking up the trailer, right? That wasn't me. I'm good with hooking up trailers. And then we have the 
toolbox that had to be taken out to haul. I forget what we were hauling, but it was something big. So we had to take out the toolbox. Yeah, this is the UWF. Yeah, it's a newer toolbox we got. Um, actually, my sister's boyfriend's. This is his truck. Um, he got it for his birthday, I think it was. Birthday, Christmas, something like that. His dad bought it for him. Um, so yeah, that's about it, guys. As I said in my last video, I'll try to keep y'all new videos coming. It's just been a lot lately with showing and uh, school starting. Uh, I might bring y'all along for the goat rack that I'm building for the goats. Um, doing it out of this scrap piece of plywood here. Um, these are my goats. That's Daisy. Daisy did off on the ring the other day. This is Bo. That's my doe. And this is my weather. That's Bo. Um, they were named after, he was named after Bo Duke, and she was named after Daisy Duke. And then my dog, his name is Roscoe, well, named after Roscoe P. Cool Train. They're all named after the Dukes of Hazard. Um, normally it's the does that do really well in the ring, but this time it ended up the buck doing, I meant the uh, weather doing a lot better in the ring because he's not a buck because he was castrated. So. This is the barn. It's kind of a mess right now too. Uh, I, I built those gates. We got that one. We got one on the barn in the back. We got two hanging up right here. Um, and I showed y'all that hose earlier. I don't know who makes this hose. It was left here when we moved in the house. It's a real heavy duty hose. Best hose I've ever had. Um, that's what it looks like. I think it's a 25 or 50 foot. Probably a 25. Uh, that's what the end looks like. This end, it was replaced before we got here, so we probably ran it over, the original one. Great, great hose. Um, we had a few other hoses. Um, out here, we actually re-ran the pasture. Um, so we had a sickness, and it went around a lot of the goats out here by where I live for whatever reason. And we had a sickness going around, so we had to do that. And then um, we, we still got to move this. We'll probably end up moving it probably tomorrow night. No, Friday night. It's tomorrow night. I got another show. Um, it's their jungle gym swing thing. This ramp is supposed to be mounted, but we're moving it, so it's not mounted. Uh, they jump there, jump there. They can walk down here. This one's mounted on. They come around here. And this ramp's mounted on for them. It was actually an old kid's swing set. And I cut the side off of it with that um, cross cut because I hadn't got my, I don't have a chainsaw, and I hadn't got my, what is that name of that saw? The, skill saw. You know, with the blade, that it goes back and forth, and it um, cuts kind of like a chainsaw, but it's not circular. It just goes in and out repeatedly. Uh, we used to have horses; they're gone. Um, I was ready for them to go. Um, they were miniature horses; they were kind of useless, I, I thought. Um, one went back to where it was from. She's got a whole bunch of little miniature horses out there. And the other was supposed to go back, but he ended up uh, a few days before he was supposed to go back. He, we, what we believe, got bit by a snake, an eyeball. So it's not like we put a tourniquet on it and stop it or anything. Um, and he got bit on the face and started seizing and everything. And we left him for a night, hoping he just ate something and it would go through his system. We gave him shots to help with it. But it turned out that he wasn't doing so hot, so we, we put him down the next day um, so that he didn't have to suffer anymore. But so he's just suffering. Out here, our dog kennels, they don't get used. Um, we don't keep our dogs out here. We got five dogs. The Humane Society out here was talking about cleaning them up for 
uh, fosters, but we tried to keep one foster out here. It didn't work out. They were saying big litters of puppies and stuff, but it will probably never get done to us. Well, my mom isn't pushing it because she don't like that idea too much, but we told them they could. Um, but yeah, my mom just got home, so I'm, gonna, I'm getting off of here. I'll stop rambling on about everything because she just got home from taking some of my sister's senior pictures and I gotta go touch a few spots on my weed whacking that I just did and work the goats that's the plan that's where the swing set used to be where that high dress is if y'all can see that right there that dress will need to be cut down but tear it up the blaze to run through the sand so that's about it guys make sure to um, hit that uh, like button um, comment what you think down below and um, hit that subscribe button it helps thanks